Oh god damn it's so low. Fuck. But anyways you guys can see what I'm about to do. So this is what you're gonna need. Depending on how big your bottle is, I would recommend this is what you do. You get this, the extension, eh? Put the bottle down. I have a little well this is a very small hookah pipe. So I put it on uh, this USM thing just to like make it a bit higher. But you take this and depending on how long this is, is how much water you put in. Like I put my water just just above that golden line there. Why? Because once I put this in, it doesn't just touch the water. It goes in a bit as well. Can you see that? Awesome. So that's what you do. And then you just make sure it's like tight, secure. This is a bit loose because this rubber here is a bit too thick, but I bought it like that, so yeah, whatever. Uh, the next thing you do is, once this is in properly, you take the pipes and you put them in here. So, I'm just going to get that. You take the pipes, but since I'm alone, I'll only be using one. Hence, oh, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to use that little rubber I showed you guys in the beginning. Just this, I don't know why there's like three on it. You put this in here. You make sure that's also in nicely. Yeah. Once that's in, you can take this. You just place it here. Let it sit there. Now what you do is you take that little black rubber. I don't know where you guys can buy this. I don't. But try your closest hookah shop maybe. Uh, see if they have this. This came with the hookah. It was in the box. Um, yeah. So I bought this hookah. Just for you to say, I bought this hookah for four hundred dollars, US not US dollars, no million dollars, from Bacon Fuchs here in Winter. Here's the packet. Let me just also put that here. Somewhere. Here's the packet. To the side. Uh, yeah, so this is in here, and this is in here. So now it's airproof. Just listen to this. This is the heat's still supposed to come on, but when I close this, no suction at all. Which is good. Uh, the less air that gets in, well, not the less air that gets in other places like here or here or here, the more smoke it makes. So now I'm going to be taking the head. This is a very. I don't really like these heads because they clay. Look at this. It just chips everywhere and it chips on top here, like here. It's not really that good, but it smokes nice. It's very shallow as well. What? What happened to the music? Oh, it's very shallow as well, so the head finishes quickly. Like when I make a hookah now and I smoke, it'll probably just last me like what, 20 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Which is useless, but it's alright. So, next step, before putting this on here, or oh, this is how I do it, you can put it on here and prepare it, whatever, but I like taking this off. And then I take the flavor, the flavor, and I put it in there. I recommend don't put a lot in because A needs to flow through. And well, if you put in a lot of flavor, it's gonna burn, and you don't want it to burn. So, just in contrast, like, which you can't see nicely. That's how much flavor I put in. Not a lot. Like, let's say, it's as big as a 10 cent. Like, three, or three 10 cents. And then, you take the tongs. Or you can take a toothpick or whatever is like pointy. This is on the back of my tongs. You use that and you stir it around. You stir, stir, stir. Oh well. I think I underestimated how much food I put in. Needs a bit more. But you guys get what I'm saying. Don't put in that much. Uh, just a bit more, not a lot. But it depends, all depends on the type of head you have. Like this one, I wouldn't put a lot in. But there's another one I have that broke in. Sorry. This one. So basically... This one takes a bit more and it smokes for longer. You can see like it's deeper and it's wider. But this is actually an awesome head. I love these. I, these are also clay, 
But I feel like these ones, these ones are handmade and these ones were like factory made or something but these look other nice. Put that away. Next step. So wait, no wait, 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 not next step yet, not. Stir it around some more. And then it should look like this. Nicely stirred around. Oh the lighting so bad in here, please excuse that. I hope you guys can see and hear me. Um yeah. After that, you take the foil, which I'll get quick. You can use normal house foil, like foil you get in your pantry or whatever. Or like foil you buy to cover food or put in the oven. But I prefer these ones that you buy that are already pre pre-made, like the holes are already in there. So what you want to do with this is you feel it. Where it's like the roughest, where it's like rough. Like you put the rough side on top. I don't know why. I, I do it that way. I don't think it matters. But that's how I do it. Since this head is a bit big and the holes that are pre-made aren't that much, you can take like a toothpick or whatever and you make more holes. But before you do that, you make sure this is on tight like you squeeze it nice, you feel it, it's on tight, awesome. Then you take, I use this, like the little thing on the end of the tongs. And then what I basically do is, you see in the middle there, it needs a bit more holes. So in the middle I'll put like five and then around, around the edges I'll put like a few more, like ten. So let's go. I might not even put this in. One, two, three, four, five. And then around the side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. Now you take this, you pop it on here. This rubber of mine, this rubber is a bit too big. So the head's gonna be loose like this. But I just make sure it's like, wait, wait, I missed the step. You take this, the ash dish. Ash dish. Ash dish, not as, as, not as dish. Ash dish, put it on here. This basically catches whatever falls off here. Like if a bit of ash falls off, that's why it's an ash dish. You put it in your. If you're done smoking this, you clean it out and you can throw it in here. When this is full, you throw all that away. How convenient. So I'm putting this on here. Just put it on nicely. It's, it's secure now. Just move this a bit. My pipe's very, it's, it's, it's very wonky. But oh well, just, just, I'll just be careful. I'll just be careful. Oh no, it's not. Just, just, I'll just be careful. And then after this is done, so basically it's almost finished. I put in my pipe. I filled this with flavor. I put on a new piece of foil. Usually I use the foil over, I just clean it. This is the type of foil I use. This is... I don't know how to pronounce that, but this is what I use. It's a bit thicker than normal foil, so once I'm done smoking, I just clean out the foil inside, and I can use it again. It's Africa here, man. You have to save on every little thing you can, man. You understand? Awesome. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. This is what I do with my coal. This this is a smaller coal. This I like the smaller coals on this pipe. I think it's personal preference and the pipe you have. Especially if you, if you have a bigger head, then obviously a smaller coal one out. This is how small it is. It's, I don't have big ones anymore, but it's quite small. I take it and then I divide it into... How you divide it is up to your little life hack. You take your tongs, it has these little rigid edges here. You take those edges and then you just cut. You cut like, you make like a little line here, a little line there, and then a little line on the side as well. You make like one whole line around the coal and it breaks easier. That's just a little life hack, but I don't use that. This is what I do. I take the coal, I put it on the floor, and I just apply pressure with my palm. I, I apply pressure on it. And then it breaks. Not always, like 80% of the time it breaks like this. Perfect. In the middle. Perfect. No problem. And then, what I like to do is, I just put them there, on top. I just like how it looks. And then, I think I 
actually drop this for now. Let me just quickly move this, make it a bit lower for you guys to see. This is what I do. Fuck. This thing fell off, but I don't really need it now. I take the whole coal that I broke. Now it's one again. Something I didn't mention in the beginning when I showed you guys everything you can use is lighter important like how are you gonna light these so then I just light them some people light them and then just put them on this is what happens when you light the coal it like does this sparkly shooting stars effect something once you put it on here it actually burns the flavor and gives it a, a shit taste this is what I do I hold it like this and then I wait for it to finish doing its thing I usually blow it so it's faster but I've been talking so much it's almost done anyways lighter keep it out of reach of children please um, disclaimer I do not promote or encourage anyone to smoke hookah you do this on your own terms this is just basically if you're doing it how to do it more efficiently if that makes sense there we go I put it on this is what I do I like since they separated, I separate them some more. More air flow through the head, more smoke. Less air flow through where there's not supposed to be air, more smoke. I hope that makes sense. This I'm going to be using to the whole thing, like moving them together, moving them apart, depending on what I want. It's like less smoke apart, more smoke together, but then it's going to burn a bit. You just take this, you pop it on here or wherever. And then that's it. I hope that guys taught you anything or something. I hope it taught you something you didn't know. Now my hands are dirty. Just wipe it off. And that's my tutorial on how to make a efficient, proper hookah pipe that actually smokes. Obviously, I'm not gonna leave you guys like this. I'm gonna start this up and then I'm gonna show you guys the fat dank cloud I make. Let me just grab this. So I'm just, I'm gonna start this up. Right, right now there's no smoke. So I'll catch you guys. No, no. And then it, I'm gonna be blowing clouds, my guy. Cloud. Wait. Let me get a better angle. I think from this side, looks like most people. Or that other side doesn't really do it justice. Well, for such a small thing, it smokes one, I must say. I hope it taught you something. Uh, please, if you mind, if don't mind sorry leave a like subscribe share tell your friends show them how it's done eh? oh and another thing is um, if it burns just separate the coals a bit like this one burned a bit and I just separated them some more and then you'll get it'll burn less hope you guys enjoyed so we see you again Monday I think suggestions down below what you want me to do or a Q&A or some stories you or just a story time darren story time with hookah good work peace oh 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 sorry one last thing take a shot make a friend just enjoy the moment i'm luke skywalking on these haters Celebrate